Hey, what's going on, everybody? Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. In this video, we are looking at the NFL final look picks for tomorrow. It's 4 p.m. East Coast time on Saturday right now making the video. We got some news already, like Lamar Jackson is out. They don't have Huntley tomorrow uh, for the Ravens. And then the Chiefs, they have Tyreek Hill. They might have Travis Kelsey. His status hasn't been updated yet. There's a chance he will be cleared, but we're still going to have to wait on that news. Uh, we got news that Mike Williams is out, so we got enough to where I can comfortably make a video. You know, we'll, we probably will get more, so keep an eye on Twitter and stuff like that to get the updates on you know a bunch of players that might be ruled in or out. But nevertheless, let's get into it. As always, appreciate if you hit the like button, subscribe if you have not already, and let's get it started with the quarterback position. As always, Patrick Mahomes. He's going up against Pittsburgh. He's at home. The Pittsburgh defense is able to get after the quarterback here. Uh, it's still a good spot in terms of being able to put up some points. They're below average, giving up 24 points per game. They're awful against the rush. Maybe if he doesn't have Travis Kelsey, they might rely on the running game a bit more. But he, at least he has Tyreek Hill. You compare him with Mahomes if he wanted to. Uh, Josh Allen, 75, going up against New England. They're looking for revenge after the embarrassing loss they had against them. Uh, it was a 10-14 to loss, but only Mac Jones threw the ball three times in that game, and they still lost. Uh, I think it's, you know, these top three guys have semi-tough matchup. I think Brady has the best matchup, even though he's missing some of his weapons, just because Carolina is basically done. They still have a decent secondary, but Tom Brady coming off of his one of his worst games of his career, getting shut out against the Saints. I think he's going to be angry and just try to put up some points uh, and take some of his frustration out on the Panthers' defense. So I do like Tom Brady. You know exactly who to pair him with. You can pair him with Antonio Brown. Rob Gronkowski, Ronald Jones. You got a nice little stack going right there for the uh, Buck side. Uh, Justin Herbert looks great at 72. Brady, Herbert are my two favorites out of the top four. For a mid-range play, it has to be Jalen Hurts at 64. He's at a great price tag. He came right back after missing almost three weeks and uh, didn't even look like he missed a beat. Put up 30 fantasy points, had two rushing touchdowns, threw the ball pretty well, almost 300 yards passing. The Giants' defense is absolutely awful. You should be able to get some yardage on the ground. Also, should have some open receivers like Devontae Smith. And he had a nice connection with his tight end, Dallas Goddard, against the, uh, the Washington football team. Hopefully that continues against the Giants, who typically are very bad against uh, defending tight ends. So Hurts looks very good. I like Matthew Stafford at 67. Another guy in the mid-range you can go with, Russell Wilson at $6,100. He looks decent as well. In the 5K range, Joe Burrow going to get a... Now it's a very winnable game for them. They should win pretty easily going up against, like, Johnson, who's going to start at quarterback for the Ravens. Um, other quarterbacks in the 5K range don't have much interest in any of these guys. If you wanted to take an ultimate dart throw, it would be for, like, Nick Foles, who is $4,000 going up against the Seahawks. They said he's going to start. Uh, this Bears offense is still not very good, but Seattle's defense is very poor. And, you know, Foles still gives you some upside at 4,000, so I have some interest there. Running backs, a couple of obvious ones to plug in. No Dalvin Cook and no Austin Eckler tomorrow, so you're going to be starting with Alexander Madison, who's at $6,800. He's priced probably where he should be. He still gets a ton of work on the ground, and he's going to get you some targets out of the backfield as well. He's typically done very well when he has stepped in place of Dalvin Cook this year and in years past. So I think he looks like a great option. You can go to Patterson, another reasonable pivot, similarly priced. Uh, Robinson looks very appealing at 59, going up against this terrible Jets defense. Uh, they are absolutely getting shredded on the ground, 142 yards per game, give up a ton of points. The Jags didn't get the win against the Texans. Maybe they had get the win against the Jets. It's a winnable game. Going to go with James Robinson now that he's going to get you close to 20 touches without um, Urban Meyer just taking the ball out of his hands. Another guy in the 5K range would be Miles Sanders at 56. He looks appealing. Uh, but you're not going to have Austin Eckler, so you're getting a great value pick at in the 4K range with uh, Justin Jackson, who's only $4,200. And he's going to get you a good amount of work, I would say. Last week, Eckler still played, even though he wasn't 100%. But that led to more touches for Justin Jackson. We got 13 touches, or 13 carries, 14 total touches. It's a very good matchup against Houston. So, you know, targeting some bad rush defenses, targeting Houston, 
targeting the Jets. The Rams are good, but I think Madison is just a very good play in general and a very good player in general. Wide receiver, like a guy playing a running quarterback with Jalen Hurts, you don't have to pair him with anybody. Uh, there's just some wide receivers I really want to get to. Top end, Cooper Cup looks great. If you can fit him in, he's a he gives you the highest ceiling out of any of these guys. If there's no Thielen, Jefferson looks better, although you might get Jalen Ramsey. But a couple of guys I just want to start with. You don't have Mike Williams, um, who's just been ruled out. So you're going to get a very nice bump for Keenan Allen at 77. I think he looks great. You're going to get a ton of targets. He's already been peppered with targets by Justin Herbert all year. And without Mike Williams, he looks even better. Uh, Renfro looks decent. In the 6K range, at the bottom, you have Mike or Mike Williams is out, so you're looking at like Keenan Allen. You're going to get a good matchup for Jalen Guyton, more opportunities for him. He has, or he's in protocols as well. All right, so he's also in protocols, so they don't have much. You might have, is Joshua Palmer still there? He's 33. He's going to get you some work, so he would be a great value pick if you needed one. But Keenan Allen right now looks very appealing. Another good wide receiver would be Antonio Brown at $4,900. They don't have their top two weapons. He's finally making his return after uh, some controversy. But now that he's back, expect him to get a ton of work and a ton of targets from Tom Brady. He's the only legit wide receiver out of the top three. They're still going to get you some targets for Scotty Miller. Still going to get you some for like Ty Johnson. But Antonio Brown is going to get a lot of work and gives you big touchdown upside. And he's just way too cheap at $4,900. Some other picks that look somewhat appealing would be like Tyler Boyd at $5,100. You have a, a lot of limited guys on the bills without Gabriel Davis and Cole Beasley. So Sanders, $4,000. He looks appealing. You can go with Ty Johnson at $39. And uh, it will be Joshua Palmer at $33 without Mike Williams and also without Jalen Guyton. Tight end-wise... Looking at the top for Rob Gronkowski is my favorite. Kelsey, if he gets cleared, looks decent. But I like Gronk just not having the other two weapons. He had uh, 11 targets. only That only turned into two receptions. I'm not interested in Mark Andrews anymore. Now that Huntley's not the quarterback. Dawson Knox looks decent. Goddard, 51. He looks good as well. And uh, if you needed to go with like a punt tight end, you can take a shot on Evan Ingram against the Eagles defense. Um, and that is basically it. If they don't get Adam Thielen back, then you, maybe you can look to Tyler Conklin at 39 or Higby also at 38 now that he's cleared. Defense-wise, looking at a cheap defense, you have some defenses that are going to benefit by not having to face a starting quarterback. A couple of those guys are the Falcons defense at $2,600 going up against Tim Boyle. So they look very appealing at 26 At 28 you have the Bengals going up against uh, Jawan Johnson. So he, they look very appealing. Those are the two best defenses. And then you even have the Raiders going up against Drew Locke. And you know that the guys in the front court, uh, front court, the guys on the uh, defensive end are going to be able to get to them. Crosby should be able to look at a couple of sacks here. Hopefully their pad secondary is awful, but their front, uh, front four should be able to get some pressure. And uh, Drew Locke isn't very scary at all. So that's it. If you needed to pay up for a defense, look to the... Eagles against uh, long neck Mike Glennon. They look decent at home. They are rolling right now, and they get a nice, easy matchup against the Giants as well. So that's about it for the DraftKings side. I uh, feel very good about these. Let's talk about FanDuel. All right, for FanDuel, it's kind of similar type of build here. Quarterback, you can make some exceptions. Now, Mahomes is 87. Allen is 85. I still like Brady. I like Justin Herbert. You're going to be able to pay up for Herbert easily because there's so much value at running back um, you have two guys in the 5k range that look very appealing Hertz still looks very good at 77 and I'm not really interested in any paying down at quarterback on FanDuel because I'm paying down at running back so the first two running backs to mention are the two cheapest ones that, that have my eye they are a little bit more expensive on DraftKings but they're still very very great plays on both sites and that's Justin Jackson 54 expecting to get a ton of the work on the ground, you can even get you a couple of receptions now that they're missing a couple of their wide receivers. And Madison is only 55, so he's very affordable compared to his DraftKings number. Those are the two best ones to target. James Robinson still looks appealing, but he's expensive at 82. Wide receiver, start with Keenan Allen on both sites. Also start with uh, Antonio Brown, who's 7,000. He's still very affordable to get to. 
uh, Renfro maybe can bounce back. And for if he needed to go with a value, it would be Devontae Smith at 59. Josh Palmer looking at a bunch of receptions. He's 49, or a bunch of targets at least. And uh, Sanders without Beasley and um, without Davis. He's only 56. Wanted to pay up. It's Cooper Cup, but he's very expensive. Tight end-wise, Rob Gronkowski is my favorite. Dawson Knox, Travis Kelsey, if he's in, needed to go with the value, would be Dallas Goddard at 59. Conklin, Jared Cook, they're going to need some tight ends to come through. Jared Cook looks better um, just with the lack of the t- uh, wide receivers, and uh, he's missing uh, he's missing uh, uh, Parham, who had that scary injury, so less competition for targets uh, for, for Jared Cook. Defenses, same type of deal, going with some of the cheaper ones, I'd say, if you needed to. Like, the Bengals look very good on FanDuel at 35. The Raiders are a little bit more expensive, but the Bengals are probably the best one. And then you have the Falcons, the Raiders, as the other two below $4,000. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and plug in Gronk as my tight end. And that's about it for both sides. Pretty similar type of build. Looking at the Chargers, the Bucks receivers. They're the best ones, um, even the Chargers running backs and uh, the Minnesota Vikings running back in Madison. So that's about it for the video. Thank you for watching. Best of luck tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your Christmas, and I'll see you all next time.